Approach you okay? Uh, Water will find us. Yeah, that's going. fine. Yeah. Thank you very much for that, members of the media. Uh, we joined by Milford FC coach uh, Pukuma. Thanks for joining us, members of the media. We just witnessed uh, a victory by Milford. And coach, give us a summary of what you saw happening in the entire match. If you can get closer to the map. Yeah. All right, no, hi, hi guys. Um, I'm still trying to catch my breath, but uh, um, basically, I mean, uh, I would say to a certain extent, uh, our plan worked. Uh, we came in, we thought if we are just solid enough, try and work on the counter. When we can keep the ball, keep the ball, try and penetrate on how we normally play. But this being a cup game, you know, you always want to take a little bit of risk here and there. And um, I think in the first half, there were areas or moments where we were a little bit fortunate. Um, we couldn't really get the balance going. They stretched us a little bit, but um, we, we brought in some some boys in, uh, during half time to stabilize the, the midfield muscle. And I think from there, it was just anybody's game. Thank you, Coach. Uh, members of the media, it's your time. My selector, can you get us the sound a uh, little bit on the board? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go for it. Members of the media, hold on. Let's go. My first question, leadership. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. If you are audible enough, go for it. Don't wait for the mic. Uh, uh, when you spoke before the game, you said that your father uh, doesn't like to watch the team because of how much it stresses him. Uh, what do you think this victory would mean to him? And can you talk this as a bad day prison? <laughs> you know too much. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if he was watching the game, but I, I know there were, the, the were members of the location where we come from. They actually gathered at home there to, to watch the game there together with them because they are at home in Mamaku. Um, if he was watching, probably as a heart attack, I need to call him. But uh, I, I really doubt, I couldn't even watch the penalties myself, so <clears throat> I really doubt if uh, he could watch it to the end. But uh, I'm going to chat with him just now. Um, I'm sure he's happy and uh, most likely proud um, of what the team has achieved and uh, uh, more so the direction that the brand is taking. Um, Hopefully we can just continue growing as a team and as a club uh, and, and um, survive <laughs> the Mutsipa Foundation uh, so that we can have um, new dreams, uh, better aspirations next season, I think. Thank you. Next. Um, going, let's go, just go for it. Of uh, course. You are a Chiefs fan. Um, once. Or oh, once. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, how are you feeling now? I'm sure you, you, you what are you talking about? This is my team. <laughs> Look, um, I would say actually I'm a football fan more than a Chiefs fan. Yes, I grew up following Kaiser Chiefs, just like you know, grew up in an environment where certain parties were the majority parties, you know, from a political point of view. And later on in, in life, you know, things change, you grow a little bit older and um, new developments around you. So it's impossible that I would have a team and then be a fan of another team. Even worse so when we bought the professional status, so really uh, <clears throat> I had to be aligned and, and ensure that I put all my energy towards Milford Football Club. Um, which is what I think we are doing as a family. Um, make no mistake about it, no one is no one is headed home right now. <laughs> We're absolutely crazy. <laughs> Thank you for that. Let's go, leader. Good. Um, I'd like to ask. Ninety minutes score is like no, no. What did you tell your players at that point in time to get them over the line and perhaps um, encourage them more to say that the result is possibly a green or? I actually just told them one thing, that they, they had already done it for Milford, so they just needed to do it for themselves now. So I was, I was grateful. I said, I'll take the results.
because we started with a loss and at 90 I took it as a draw. So for me that was building up from the draw that we had last week and hopefully we can then start winning going forward. So after 90 minutes I told them guys you're done, that's it for me, now you can just do it for yourselves. We'll take the last three questions, start with you leader. Congratulations on the weekday. Something that was interesting is that those smaller teams or lower division teams really come with a low block and a defender, six, seven, eight players. But you guys didn't do that. Um, is that the confidence from the team and from you that you instructed to you know, just play your usual game? It's actually a pity we couldn't really play our game uh, because we lost uh, shape, I think, uh, Sally or something. The, the wing there was really giving us problems, so we had to sh change a bit. Um, but um, I'm offensive-minded. I attack life, so generally I attack in everything that I do. Uh, Zane is the defensive coach, so and he knows uh, we concentrate more on ball possession, uh, trying to create spaces and... Um, uh, short combinations with um, creating triangles to go around the, the opponents and if, if that doesn't work then we work on artificial transition through the middle, form a square. Uh, so we will always play like that, win or lose we will always play like that and um, it, it's made us look better. Hopefully eventually the results will come but we just have to keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. It's a pity you guys only get to see him now. Uh, I've known him for years, he's insane, uh, he's a typical modern goalkeeper, From he can even play strike if you want to. So he makes us uh, complete, believe it or not, he's actually playing injured, he injured his finger on Monday, yes, yes. but um, we arrested him for the week because without him we're not really the same, we don't look the same, um, we don't play like we want to play, so today he just showed everybody else what I already know. So I, I'm glad, I'm happy for him. I want him to enjoy this moment. It's been coming. I mean, he's been through a lot, but it's a boy that I know from way back and I'm super happy for him. Last one, Billy. Uh, coach, uh, Billy from SABC uh, here. Uh, for Pam Okay, and, and course that, and course. Yeah, but, uh, what are your ambitions um, now, um, just personally as a coach, because you have another profession. And what's your whole thinking about around this whole uh, coaching space um, in terms of uh, going forward? Um, do you feel that you, you still need a coach or you just want to continue as, as things are? And also, what does this result do uh, to the team? Because also, you are not safe uh, in your division. Okay, I think I'll start with the last one. Um, I'm hoping that it would do what I was hoping it would do, like give us motivation going forward, um, because we still have about 11 games to play, then maybe we can build on the confidence that they're going to gain uh, from winning against Kaiser Chiefs Chiefs um, and in helping us trying to survive the, the MTC. the Mutsepa Foundation. Um, from my side, no, I have no ambitions. I was tricked to be here um, by my brothers and the players. Um, initially it was five games, then it just went on and on. So right now the plan is to just be around um, Zane and Tlantla and Debe, uh, who are players that have come through the team. Um, then I just moved them up to the technical side and they're busy getting their badges. Uh, so I'm like a principal, just keeping an order on things, ensuring that things are being done. As soon as the season is over and we've survived, I'm going back to be number one fan and let them do the job. Coach Kukuma, uh, we thank you. All the best and uh, congratulations once more. Okay, thanks. Thank you.